Happy Monday. We are so glad to have y'all back for this new 2023-2024 school year. Hopefully it's the best year ever. We're so excited. As you're standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, go ahead and do your uniform check. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now, the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now, for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. So last year we did mystery staff member of the week. We would guess which staff member it was. And we did that every single week, but we went through most of the staff members. So I thought, let's try something new. And it's gonna be basically the same thing, only it could be anything, not just teachers or educators. It can be anything we can think of. So this year we're gonna call it, can you guess? And so this week, let's see if you can guess what our thing is for this week. We used these last year at Feral. Have you guessed it yet? It helps you to celebrate what you've accomplished throughout the year. Every student gets their own. Have you figured it out yet? You update it at the end of every six weeks. I think some of y'all got it by now. Did you guess it yet? It's our goal posters. If you got it, if you guessed that correct, congratulations. So that's what Can You Guess is gonna look like. So if y'all have some ideas for Can You Guess, y'all can drop them in my box outside of my office or your teacher can email them to me. All right, now it's time for goodness gracious, great things at Feral. So over the last week, I have been looking for great things and what I've seen is classes walking through the hall really well, silently and straight. Some of them even holding bubbles, just doing a great job listening to their teachers. And so I snapped a couple pictures and this is what I saw. Students lining up so well. Look at these classes, perfect examples of exactly what we want to see at Farrell. So I snapped pictures of those. If you've been seeing great things at Farrell, Please let me know. Teachers, if y'all are seeing great things, let me know. So show me something great. So if you got something great going on, perhaps last year we did the lineup challenge where you can line up your whole class in 15 seconds or less with no talking and no hands, feet, or objects to themselves problems. Shoot a picture of it, shoot a video of it, and send it to me, and your class will go on the announcements. Perhaps your class packs up super quick and quiet at the end of the day. Take a picture of it, take a video of it, send it to me, and your class is going on the announcements. Maybe y'all have the straightest and the quietest line in the whole building when you're walking down the hall. Send a picture, send a video, and y'all are going on the announcements or anything else you can think of, anything that you can do that shows our class is great, send a picture of it, send a video of it, and y'all will go on the announcements. All right, now it's time for our video of the week. Okay, okay. ruler on the on table. table. You drop, drop something on it. It's gonna fall. It's gonna fall. That's not impressive. But if you put an ordinary piece of paper onto Just the paper. ruler like that. What's that gonna do? And then you drop something on it. It's gonna fall. It didn't fall? How does that? Oh, atmospheric pressure. Artist that likes to paint that was crazy. What? The paint is made of charcoal and will simply Something. wash away when it rains. Oh, Mr. Bergen, that's y'all's new art project. Go get a mountain and then draw on it. That is so good too. Look at that dog. He's just chilling. Oh. Don't worry, oh, the dog no. is okay. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. I've definitely done that once or twice in a bed too. 
All right, so I know y'all think over summer, what do teachers really do? Well, this is what we do. We get together and we hang out at the Cowboys Stadium. And so, yes, this is a couple, a group of us from Farrell hanging out at the Cowboys Stadium. And I know y'all are thinking, that's not really the Cowboys Stadium. Maybe y'all just haven't been to the VIP section like we have. This is us in the VIP section. And y'all are thinking, that's not really the Cowboys Stadium. But notice you got Mr. Maples in the Falcon costume. Let me show you how you can know that we were hanging hanging out at the Cowboys Stadium because there is Mr. Maples on the AT&T Stadium 50 billion long yards stadium uh, screen up there in front of all the people and then there's another picture of him taking his shoes off because that's what Mr. Maple does out on the Cowboys Stadium so that's what we do and then sometimes you know over summer you know when y'all aren't around what do we do we party so here's a picture of us hanging out and partying. <laughs> we hope y'all had a great summer too. We know we did. Oh, it's time for the joke, but I am out of jokes. I ran out of jokes. So I need you to tell me some jokes. So here's what we're going to do. We want to see more teachers and more students doing jokes this year. So this is what this is going to look like. I have two rules. One, you got to do something great to get to tell a joke for the week. It's a privilege to get to be on the announcements. So perhaps you've done something really great and your teacher might select you to do the joke of the week. If that's true, find your very best joke, practice it. Then what you're gonna do, before you make your own announcements, I want you to try it out in your class. Tell your class the joke. Now remember, it's got to make sense to sixth graders all the way down to pre-K three. So it's got to be a big range, okay? And so tell your joke to the class. If they like it, then have that joke recorded and send it to me. Have your teacher send it to me and then we will get you on the list to get on the announcements. It might be a few weeks. If, however, you tell the joke and nobody laughs, Find a new joke. Find a better joke so you get the phoniest joke you possibly can, the funniest joke of all, so we can put that on the announcements because we're getting tired of seeing Mr. Torok's jokes, so I want to hear your jokes. I'm so excited about this year with y'all, and y'all just work your hardest, and we're going to see what great things we can do. Y'all be kind, work hard, do something nice for someone, and I'll see you next week.